let me show you how to control specular highlight size of your material. So let's open up the material editor and I'm going to disconnect diffuse and normal map just for the sake of showing you how this works and showing you a better example of it. So here's the highlight size of our specular. So if I use and hold down the L key, we can position our light. You can see the radius of the light affecting our material. So to control the highlight size within the specular map, we need to use a constant one node and plug it into specular power. So I'm going to hold down one and left click and position our constant and let's plug it into specular power. So let's increase it to one. So if I use the L key and move the light around, you can see that it affects the entire texture. The highlight size covers the entire material. So if you want more defined and smaller highlight size within your material, you need to bump up the specular power to a higher value. So let's say we do 50. Now we get a more focused highlight. And if you want even tighter than that, let's bump it up to 200. This will give you a highlight size that's very precise. So let's go ahead and plug back our diffuse and our normal map. And for a stone concrete texture, we want to have more of a broad highlight size. So we need to bring this down maybe to 25. And let's go ahead and save. And this is how you define a specular highlight size.